Hi everyone, it's Lisa Kester here on Monday, August 28th, and a few folks asked me how I fire my plates. So I've got them in the kiln, so I wanted to show them to you real quick. So let me um, try to do this one-handed. <laughs> I cracked one of them already trying to pack them up. So I'm down to eight. So, okay, so I've got these stilts behind here, so they're leaning, and the important part is see how they're straight up? I don't want them at an angle so that the lip is putting a lot of pressure on the lip. So that's why these are pointing this way, and these are going to point the opposite way, because they were getting too slanty, if that makes any sense. So they are going to lean like that. And then I will, so that's how, that's eight plates there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight plates there. Um, like I said, the important part is that they're, they're really pretty much up and down. You don't want them at a real slant. So you're putting a lot of pressure on this lip here. So I will do another video. I'll be back when I open the kiln. Hopefully I'll open it up on Wednesday. And that's probably when I'll post this video. So anyway, that is how I load my plates. Have a great day. Hello everyone. So I'm back and here is my plates still stacked, and let's see. There's one. Looks flat. I'm at, I'm at where I work. So I can't talk too loud. There's people here working. See, not one warp. They're still a little toasty. I cracked one on the way here. <laughs> I hit a speed bump. And it cracked. But see how they're standing pretty right up? But see, they look, they're still flat. That is the best way to fire a plate. Yeah, see? They all turned out and I just lean up against these two posts and that is it. And there's all my plates. I'll be painting them today. I'm going to be painting some pumpkins on there. So, um, Again, these plates are fired to cone 5. I'm using Laguna B-Mix 5 with Grog. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much. Have a great day.